Hey, fanboy nation. This is your pal Daffy Duck, and you're watching. You're watching. We're watching. You're watching. Fanboy. 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 A fanboy, etc. Fanboy nation. Dot. I assume. No. Um. <laughs> Back again with Joel McHale, this time talking about his own feature film, yeah. Mortal Kombat Legends Cage Match. Wow, RC, you are freaking smooth, man. Well, last time I called you Husky because we had to play off the whole you always taking your shirt off in one movie and then being a Washington Husky on top of it. So, you know, that little tie-in. And we got a big game this Saturday. Yeah. Well, you've been on that field, but now you're behind the mic being Johnny Cage. Yes. Repraising this role for the fourth fourth consecutive time, it, it looks like. Yeah, no, believe me, they keep not being able to cast it, so they give it to me. It's very nice of them to take pity. Listen, man, if this is pity, you're living the life. Yes, it's going well. Look at this. I got the, all the, the ages of the dinosaurs. It's going great. Yeah, no, I love playing the role, and it's the fact that they did a whole movie of it was just a dream come true, and... They had to sit and listen to my pompous ass yell at them in a booth forever and into a microphone. So it was very, they were very patient. Well, at this point, I don't think they give you a script. I just think they let you ad lib and rant the whole time. Oh, that would have been a horrible mistake. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, the, uh, I do improvise a lot and add a lot of jokes that, you know, really don't make it because they're not great. But once every 200 jokes i get a good one in and so yeah they they have to listen to me improvise and go like what about this and they're like yes that's a great idea joel why don't you try that and uh they said uh, they patronized me very nicely and i, uh, I they made me feel very good about myself but I, for real though they they did let me improvise a bunch and and add jokes and that's what i love about this version of you know, it's obviously it's his origin story, Johnny Cage's, and you know, it's a comedy. And they let me, you know, they got to they put they packed it with jokes, which I appreciate so much. You know, the sad part is we've lost Gilbert Godfrey, yet he yeah. was the perfect Johnny Cage agent that you could ever imagine. Yeah. He was amazing. And it he when he passed, it was just so shocking. And uh, I mean, I get to tell my grandkids that I was in a movie with Gilbert Gottfried and he was just one of the most unique comedic voices of, you know, our time in America. I mean, he was really unique and I don't know how they got him to be in the movie, but uh, they they really tricked him. Well, you also have Jennifer Grey in the film with you, of which in the animated feature, they gave her back her 80s nose. See, which is really funny. Uh, it's really great. And yeah, we didn't get to be in the same room recording, but she's, you know, she's fantastic in it. And of course, cause she's an extremely skilled actor and, you know, a legend. Yeah, on top of all that, it has an incredible extended play playlist that I've already yeah. tweeted out to Jeremy and Jim Craig that I need the EP for this. Yeah, I would like it too. Uh, it's a really good lineup I and mean, it's really thoughtful and so, you know, it puts you right in that world. And it's funny because my kids, they watch these films and I was like, this is, you don't, do you appreciate what this movie's doing? I mean, they haven't seen it yet because it hasn't come out yet, but uh, I'll be all over them. You know, when they, when like one of their favorite movies is Back to the Future. And, and it's funny how that has transcended time. Uh, and so will this, but to see all the pastels and the, the look that the 80s created, the Miami Vice feel, that stuff, uh, I think is really cool. And I think it's really beautiful. And now when you look back on it, it's it's really, it really brings the time up perfectly. And I just, you know, think it's, you know, we, we went from 60s being really, you know, 50s button down, 60s hippies, 70s, were like this, you know, hybrid version. And then the 80s just changed everything. And then we had glam rock. It was awful. It was just all earth tones. Yeah, there was a lot of mutton chops, which I appreciate a mutton chop. But uh, yeah, who would have thought? Who would have thought it would have been? Yeah, it was great. You know, they were buried with Elvis and they need to stay that way. Yeah. God rest his soul. Yeah. <laughs> so the ultimate question in all of this is we find out about Johnny Cage's origin story. I need to see a Ninja Mime movie. 
you know, yeah. and multiple sequels. Those are that's my big giveaway from this. I'm gonna say, do you, do you hear that, Warner Brothers? We're gonna need some more. We're gonna need more of these movies. So I would I would love to do them because they're a blast. They, I, again, I think I annoy the crap out of the producers as I pitch a thousand jokes, but they're really fun to make and and you know more action comedies is the better. You know, the fun part with the animation and all of this and the story behind it of demon possession. And naturally it being in Hollywood, because we've been saying that for probably 40 years at this point, you know, uh, what's it like when you get the script and you actually get to sit there and like everything that we've joked about Hollywood being demonic and, you know, the underbelly of all of society, yet being the foundation of the 1980s and the Sunset Strip, making it all make sense. Like, what was the joy in playing with that script? Well, when reading it, I mean, Johnny Cage is over the top. Obviously, the violence is over the top. And this story is wonderfully fantastical and actually gives a pretty good explanation as to why Hollywood is the way it is. Uh, but no, I, I Hollywood gets a bad rap, but with very good reason a lot of the time. Um, but it, I think it's just really a funny joke. I mean, it's a really good gag. Like, oh yeah, actual demon possession. Great. Oh, well, that does explain things. And I, you know, think I think it's a really clever idea. I think it's really funny. And, you know, it lends itself to, yeah, just, you know, a, as I said, action comedy. And it was, I think it was, it's just a really creative way to, yeah, it was just like a fun way to tell the story. And um, I think it's somewhat different than the other movies, the same way that like Thor Ragnarok's different than, you know, Marvel movies, the other Marvel movies. And obviously Taika Waititi is a freaking genius. And um, so anyway, that all said, you know, I think the story's really fun and uh, I think it's somewhat unexpected. Uh, so that's, you know, uh, also, you know, a bonus. So we, we find out that the main question of the film is what would Johnny Cage do? Yeah. Now let's fast forward into modern times. Johnny Cage is having his comeback because he never left in the film. What right. would Johnny Cage do in 2023? He'd probably go to a pharmacy and buy a few mirrors. Uh, you know, uh, he likes to use, I think he would be so uh, enamored by the way that um, like tinted moisturizer has uh, really evolved into, no one can even tell. He just looked like he'd been in the sun for a couple of hours. It's really well done while moisturizing. Uh and uh, Johnny Cage would, I think he'd have to, uh, you know, he's a very good fighter, but, um, you know, with mixed martial arts coming in the way it has, he's going to have to, you know, up his skills a bit. Uh, but, you know, he looks terrific. Uh, his joints might be a little sore, especially after all those splits. So he's going to probably have to do some yoga and uh, take some ibuprofen, but uh, I think he'd be okay. He's ageless. Like it. It's, the, you know, like the... It's a great thing about, uh, it's like the Simpsons. They were like, they've been in second grade for, you know, 40 years. This is true. But Joel McHale, thank you so much for your time. I got the one minute warning. Mortal Kombat Legends cage match is coming out on October 17th. Thank you so much again, man. It's always a pleasure chatting with you. RC, really, thank you. And it's nice that you have your, um, you know, image behind you like that. It's really cool. Got to keep the company logo alive. Yeah. <laughs>